What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be simply helping one of my friends slash client, um, a top producing real estate agent in the state of Texas, Heather. I'm going to be helping her um, go step by step, set up the entire conversions ad through Facebook, through your ads manager. So if you guys are in the business of capturing leads, getting people to schedule appointments or make sales, conversions is what you want to be running. You know, many, many times we go into the ads manager, we click that green button, we look at all these different objectives and we're overwhelmed on what to pick, right? I'm going to walk you through, this is going to be a tutorial, this is going to be a step-by-step -step training on how to run this conversion ad for leads. Okay, I'm going to show you her funnel. I'm going to be showing you different different steps within within the setup process that that are super important, and I'm going to try try to hit on as many details as possible while we set this thing up. Okay, so again, if you're in the business of of capturing leads, getting appointments, or making sales, this is the type of Facebook ad you want to run, and it is conversions. Okay, so enjoy this step to step step by step training. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego been helping real estate agents and small business owners run Facebook ads, market on social media um, successfully since 2016. So if you're new, subscribe, smash the bell for, for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys, so enjoy this training. Give me one second. Let me uh, get Heather on the line. Okay, so let's get this thing started so what the very first step you should always do is post it here like you would any other post right so the ad goes here um, on the business page first so create post upload the video write out the text this is where it goes first nice. yeah awesome so we'll we'll go an image route and and test that out and that's the thing about these ads too you always want to test you know and um and so you want to you want to for sure have a budget in mind, right? You want to have a budget in mind. That's what a lot of people don't have our our real budgets. Like, and you don't have to start a lot, at a lot. Like, you can, you can start at at, I mean, real estate leads. I mean, you got to really think about it. Like, a real estate lead is an expensive lead. Like, if you were to buy a real estate lead anywhere, because I mean, I was in mortgages, so when we bought mortgage leads. We were spending anywhere from we were spending anywhere from fifty to hundred bucks per lead, and that was freaking back in twenty ten. So yeah. it's like here, a lot of people think that hey, can I just spend four dollars a day and try to capture leads? It's like shit. I wish we could. Like if you can get leads for four dollars a day, five bucks a day, you'd be crushing it. You could turn around and sell that lead for fifty bucks. You know what I mean? But really, that's not the case. So you have to kind of somewhat have a budget in mind. And I would say minimum, minimum is $10 a day. Like, um, and so if you were going throughout the whole entire month, you know, having a just mentally preparing and, and just overall preparing for 300 a month, uh -huh. you know, um, and then after that, then you can start scaling up after that. But at least, you know, at least going off of, let's just say $10 a day, is kind of where you want to be. Um, and that's why it's so important to show your face. Like that's a great image right there. You know, so the difference again here is now that we have, now we have to write everything versus saying it in a video. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So let's write this out and then we'll post it here. Um, and then we'll go back into the ads manager and, and run it as an, as an ad. Okay. Yeah, so there, there's there's three steps to to this text writing and and it's the same when it comes to when it when it applies to a video okay so if I was saying this in a video it'd be the same three steps and so here here are really the three steps so step one is is calling that audience out okay calling that audience out that's our first line the second the second step is telling some type of story like some type of short story. And, and, and so my name is Heather Schwan and I'm your local real estate expert. I've been in the Dallas area. Actually, you, you've only been there for, for so long. So maybe not put. I've, that, I've, but, well, since I've been back. Yeah. I mean, I've lived here, you know, I've lived in more Fort Worth my whole life. So I'm newer okay, okay. In the area here. So Let, let's add that. So my name is Heather Schwan and I'm your local real estate expert. I've been in the Dallas area since. So we're going to tell just, so yeah, go back up. So 
we're going to, we're going to leave. I have a free gift too, but we're going to put some, yeah, we're going to put a sentence before that. So here we're just telling step two again, we're just telling a, a brief little story. So I, little, I pretty much grew up here, you know, shit, write that in then that, that's, that's what I'm trying to talk about. So this is a brief story. So my name is Heather Schwann and I'm your local real estate expert. I have lived here my whole life or I've grown up here or I have, yeah, just tell that, tell that, 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 that tell that brief story. Um, I have, I have lived in the DFW Metroplex for whatever time. That's and I have movie. seen the real estate market shift in so many ways, right? Tell some type of little brief story like that. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So in this free seller's packet, I'm giving you in this free seller's packet, comma, I'm giving you all the special secrets that I advise all my clients with when it comes to getting top dollar on their home. Perfect. You're going to enjoy, you're going to, or something like, let's, let's wrap it up with one sentence. So you're, you're going to enjoy all the information or you're going to benefit or you're, or you're going to, um, something like that. You're going to, um, in this free seller pack, I'm giving you all this top dollar in their home. This, this packet is super informative and you're going to learn a ton or something like that. This packet is super informative and, and you're going to, and you're going to gain, yep. You're going to gain a ton of knowledge when it comes to, you're going to gain a ton of knowledge when it comes to the Dallas real estate market and the do's and don'ts of what it takes to sell or something like that. Right. Like, so again, step one, calling out that audience. Step two, telling a brief story and, and using a case study or using a past client or using exp or, or use a past experience to kind of paint the picture. That's step two. And then and then step two, step three is the call to action. Right. So maybe, maybe we may not leave, may, maybe we may not need that. I have a free gift to give to you today, or if we can maybe put that somewhere. Right, I'll top. probably just delete that. This okay, this pack is super informative and you're going to get a ton of knowledge when it comes to the Dallas real estate market and the do's and don'ts and the do's and don'ts of what it takes to sell or something like that or what it takes to list your home or what it takes to to list your home in today's in today's market. Perfect. And then so the th that one right there, that line, yeah, you can delete that and then you can you can put Download your free copy now or click learn more to download your free copy now. I put having your home ready is, should I keep this? Let's put that somewhere at the top. Let's put that. Yeah, we could probably put that right, right at the top of the second paragraph. So yeah, put it. Yeah. Attention, attention homeowners in the Dallas Metroplex. Having your home show ready is crucial. First impressions are everything. My name is Heather. That's awesome. Perfect. That's awesome. Awesome. So now let's go down to the bottom and close it out with a call to action. So um, it's all about click and learn more. It's all about downloading your free seller guide. Click learn more to download your free copy now. Oh, okay. Yeah, click learn more to download your free copy now. Perfect. Awesome. 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 So again, video is everything, but this right here is just as powerful. The fact that I'm seeing your face and I'm going to keep seeing your face in my newsfeed, that is powerful. So go down real quick over the image and click on edit. See if there's, if, if there's anything we can, no, 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 no. Edit, right. Yeah. Right down the image. So click that real quick. And then, um, yeah, that's fine. We're good. Okay. So cancel and then, and then save po the blue, the blue one post. I need to hit this. Uh, no, 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 no. So just post. Okay, cool. So that's step one is post it on the page first. Okay. Same thing with the video. Um, if that was a video, then we would have hovered over the video, just like we did the image. We would have clicked edit and then we would have added, um, uh, uh, I think it's called Facebook calls it a, 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 a title. They call it something title, but we would have added something on a video and we'll do that next time on a video. I'll show you what, but, um, I'm wondering if I should just put a house there instead, but I don't know. No, hell no. That's my point. That's why okay. I just got done saying everyone does a, a stupid house. No, okay. we need to see your face. Like that's the branding. 
Right. Like, that's the branding. It's not a house, not at all. Um, so that's perfect. So now we go straight to the ads manager and we run this ad. So now that we're in the ads manager, click on the three lines. Let's just double check the audiences. So the moment you put up an ad, in this case, click on audiences. This is a post. This is an image post, right? It's an image post. So this custom audience only needed to be set up once, which we already did. And it's, and it's that audience, right? The first one, people who engaged with any post or ad. Okay, so, so that audience is going to, everyone who engages with that post and ad is going to go into that audience. Okay. okay, now you only need to do that once. From this point on, if you do do video or you are going to do video, but when, yeah, when we do our next ad, hopefully it's a video. Every time you put up a video, you'll come up here, you'll come back here and create an audience for that video. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm recording this for you, so don't worry. Thank but you. that's the that, that's the time where you'll always create a new audience. And it's all about audiences. It's all about audiences. Okay. So in this case with the image, everyone's falling into that audience. And from 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 ad number two and on, you'll always want to retarget that audience. Okay, so people who engaged with any post or ad. So as we go and set up the ad, I'll show you where these audiences would go when you retarget them in the future. But, um, but yeah, so that's good. So we're good there. So now click on the three lines to the left and let's go to the ads manager and let's set this ad up. And it'll redirect me to my Kartra where I have, where they download my ad and everything. Well, we'll get to there. Yeah, we'll get to that part. We need, we need the opt-in page. And okay. fact, go, ahead and, go ahead and grab it now. Okay, awesome. So custom audiences are good. Custom conversion is good. Um, and then now we're good. So click the green one and we'll go straight into running this ad. So now over here, we're gonna go with conversions. Every ad from this point on is gonna be conversions, okay? Now, we had to set the custom conversion first, and that's what we already did, so we're good. So now here, hit the drop down right there. This is where we'll name, get in the habit of naming everything here. So scroll down, open it up, scroll down, 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 scroll down. There's all three, all three um, titles. So, this is step one, okay? So all this is is giving each step its own title. And the reason why this is so important is because when you come back into the dashboard, you wanna be able to look at the title and know exactly what ad that is. Okay. If you don't give it a very um, detailed description title, then you won't know what ad that is. You'll have to click on it, go into ad. it. Yep, you can do that, yep. Photo ad, um, photo ad, photo ad number one you know, photo ad, photo ad number one, and then in parentheses. So, so, so as you move forward, you'll want to give every, every, every post, every image, every video, give it its own name. And that's the name you'll put over here. Okay. You know, so if it was a video where you were wearing a red dress, I would have put video in red dress. Okay. Right. Very detailed, very specific. So photo ad, um, or you can even put headshot. Cause if I looked at that, I'd be like, what photo? Right. I would probably think what photo, but, you know, as long as you know, then, you know, that's all that matters. But again, detailed is super important. So headshot ad number one headshot headshot. Yeah, perfect. Headshot ad number one. Awesome. Now, in parentheses, it's not seller guide in parentheses. In parentheses, it's conversions. So we want to be able to look at this on the dashboard and automatically know what ad that is. It's our headshot ad number one. And, it, and it's a conversion ad seller's guide. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then the ad set, what I do in the ad set is I'll just simply title the, the area we're targeting and then, and then maybe the budget. So in the ad set, no, leave that, leave that just title. So whatever area we're targeting, whether it's the city, whether it's the, yeah, if it's Dallas, D Dallas Metroplex, perfect. And then, and, then, and then maybe in parentheses, put the either the daily budget or put the total budget. Um, um, so... Uh, I'm trying to think what I need for the week. Like break it down. Break, well, so just look at, and like again, if I, had, if I did a hundred dollars, I know you said that that's not really enough. No, that's actually good. Like if, again, we want to, we want to gauge it. We want to really start it out at, 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 at 10 days, like let it run for 10 days. Okay. But, but at the same, but, and, and once you really start to, to catch momentum, then, then again, as I mentioned earlier on our other call where, I want you to have a video or, or even in this case, an image, have one ready every week. So should so, I just do $50 then for a 10 day ad? 
Well, what I'm trying to explain is, is the fact that if 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 weekly is is the strategy, again, sometimes we'll need to run another one next week. Sometimes we won't. Maybe this one's crushing it and we don't need to put out that next one. Okay. But again, get in the habit of making a new video or ad every week. Just get in that habit no matter what. Okay. Get in that habit every week. So today's the day. Today is today's Wednesday. Every Wednesday, Heather needs to have a new post regarding her seller guide on that business page. Okay. No matter what. No matter what. Now, with that being said, again, sometimes we may not need to run the next one, but what you want to do is look at the overall month and look at the budget. So if our budget is 200 a month, or if it's 300 a month, or if it's 400 a month, just break it down by week. Okay. Right. I, so can do it, by, I can do it. I can do it by week. Yeah. You could, you could do it by day. Like you could, you could set the okay. calendar to run the ad however long you want. So okay. So again, if, if you're saying a hundred, then, then, then what I would assume is I would assume that the budget a month, the budget per month is 400. Okay. Because if, if we're trying to run one per week, there's a hundred per week, right? Okay. So whatever so what if maybe, I wanted to do a month of like, let's just say 250 for now, or just to yeah. just run this ad. Yeah. Perfect. Well then divide that by, divide that by four. Okay. Two, so okay. 250 it's, divided it's, 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 by four. 62 bucks for the, for, for, for the week. Uh -huh. um, and, 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 and that's something you want to stick with, stick with that. That again, as I keep throwing out there, consistency is everything. You have to run these ads consistently, Okay. no matter what, no matter and what. The next one is going to be just some, a tip on my seller's guide for them to download it. Every ad is going to be about that, about that. Every, every ad is going to give you, is going to be about some tip regarding the seller guide. Okay. You know, and, 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 and having the seller guide, here's what I would do if I were you, I would, I would probably go down to, to, um, to like, I don't know what's out there, Kinko's or office Depot, whatever you guys got and go print out. You don't have to print out the whole thing. Cause how many pages is it? Sixteen, I think maybe, maybe print it out. Maybe not. Maybe only print out the first five pages because no one's going to, no one, no one knows anyways, no one, no, oh yeah, no. I'll make it into a nice book, you know, type. No, yeah. I'll well, no, no. What what I'm saying is that you can you can just you don't have to print out the whole thing. You could just print out a few copies and hold it in your hand. It could be a, a good prop when you're doing a video. Right. That makes hey sense. guys, I put together this 2022 seller guide. Take a look at it. Right. So it can kind of be a little prop as you're doing your next your next ads, your next videos. Got it. That's what I would do for sure. And 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 print a copy one. I mean, excuse me, print a colored copy one. And that's what I'm saying. That color copies can be expensive. So don't print out the whole damn thing. Maybe just print out a few pages. Okay. And, and as long as you're showing us the cover page, right, that's all we really see. So it's up to you. You can print the whole damn thing or just print a few pages, but having it okay. as a prop can be really good is what I'm saying. Perfect. Okay. And, and even, and even taking a picture of yourself with it, that could be a, that could be an ad, just a simple image. You doing a selfie, holding your freaking seller's guide in your hand. Okay. And it's a nice color copy of that seller guide. So, okay, perfect. Right. Those could be great images. Um, so here, Dallas, Dallas Metroplex. And then, and then again, just put, put the budget, um, put the budget in this case, I want you to run it for a little longer than seven days. I want you to run it for, run it for 10 days, run it for 10 days. So, so take it up to, take it up to, yeah, actually you don't have to put, you could put 10 days and then just put, put the budget, put the budget, spend, I don't know, 70 bucks, 75 bucks, spend a hundred bucks. So 70, perfect. Dallas Metroplex 70 and, and, and then, and then, and then 10 days, 10 days. See, so, so that breaks down to $7 a day, obviously. So that's not, get better, you know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's not that's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just right, right there in between. So so let's start out with that. Let's run, run, run that. And then the third tab, the third title, you can simply use the same title as the top headshot ad seller guide. Yeah, same thing. OK, cool. And then in, in the parentheses for this one, take away conversions and just put image. Yeah, perfect image. Okay, cool. So that that's that's choosing the objective. That's titling everything here, and then we hit continue. Okay, then we go to the next step, which is simply, if you're in any of these categories, credit, housing, politics, um, you always have to hit the special ad category. So hit the drop down. So see, you, you see at the top, you see your your yeah. title. That's what we just named the title. Okay, so here you always got to go housing, and then United States. Leave it as is and hit next. That's step one. That's it. So that's that's 
that's tab number one is what I call that. And I'll show you the tabs as we go back to the dashboard, but that that's tab number one. So now we come over to step two where we already have the title, right? And then down here, we see website, we see our pixel, and there is your custom conversion. So that's the conversion event. That's letting Facebook know, and we're gonna put your opt-in page on the next step. So when they click learn more, they go to your opt-in page, but here is where we're telling Facebook about the conversion event. This is the most important page we're trying to get people to, okay. right? It's that thank you page. That's the seller guide lead conversion. So here, take away the daily budget, hit the drop down, and go to lifetime, and then just put in 70. And then let's adjust this calendar, the start date. We're going to, um, and, and when you run, when you run, when you set up these ads, always set it for the next day at, at 6 a.m. local time. So here it's Pacific. So just do, do, um, do, do, do four, do 4 a.m. Do 4 a.m. because that's 6, 6 a.m. your time. So perfect. And then, and then change the end date and then change the end time to, to match the same the same time. So, uh, so go from, what are we going from the 20th okay. to the, to the 30th? Oh yeah. Cause it's 10 days. Okay. And then change out that 1 PM. Yeah. Change that out 4 AM. Okay. Good. Okay. Perfect. And then, um, and then we'll scroll down. So here audiences. Now we're not going to, we're not going to, um, um, put any custom audiences now. Cause this is our first, our first ad, but Ad number two and on, ad number three, ad number four, every ad from, from number two and on, you'll want to start retargeting these audiences. Um, at least the audience from this ad, right? The audience from this from this ad. Um, and, and where you'll do that is you'll click there, uh, custom audiences. Can I do that? Or I mean, if I, if I don't put anything on this one, will that make my um, audience not as good or my, no, you know, not at all. You don't have any, you don't have anyone in the audiences really. Click the, click in the box, search existing audiences. These are all of our custom audiences, but you don't have any there yet. So we just set them up, right? Okay. So they're fresh, they're ready to go. That's why on ad number two is when they'll, there'll be some in this audience. There'll be some in, click the drop, click it again, click the box. They'll be in that people who engage with, with any poster ad, that first one. Uh -huh. So again, that's this ad that we're running right now. When we run this ad for the next 10 days, people are going to engage. Those people are going to go in that audience. Okay. So that would be an audience. I would retarget ad number two and on. Okay. Okay. Um, and so for right now, nothing goes there now. So locations. So go ahead and, and, and choose locations. Go ahead and, and put in that, that area. X out the United States. Get rid of get rid of that. Yeah. X it out to the right. And then hit the drop down real quick too. Hit the drop down. People living in or recently. If you look, if you look, these are very different. Right, very, very different. People living in this location, people recently in, people traveling, right? So we always want to go with people living in. So you can go Wiley. And so here's the deal. You just went Wiley. That changes our title. So go back up to the top, take away Dallas Metroplex. It's Wiley. Right. Again, be, we're trying to be very specific. But so, on my ad, I don't have to change anything on my ad, right? No, no, just, and no one sees this part. This is just internally. This is just to help you know exactly what ad this is. Okay. Right. So, so that's good. So that's good. That's good. We're good there. So scroll down, scroll down. We got Wiley and 15 miles. So is that your, is that your farm? Is that what you're, where, would where I get at? more people if I have a lesser radius? Well, Yes. Technically, you, you would if it was lesser, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I would focus on just my backyard. Like, I wouldn't give a damn who's 50 miles out okay. unless you want, unless unless you want. It's totally up to you. Whatever. I, can I change this or, like, move it to where it, it – well, this, this is good. This is fine right here. No, you totally can. Or you can extend the mileage or you can just drop a pin. Take away Wiley, Texas and just yeah. drop a pin. So you can you can do – hit the X to the right. And then just click on drop pin and then just choose whichever area. Okay. Okay, cool. So perfect. So that kind of, okay. So then so now I title, go down. title, 
dropped dropped pin and then put the miles the mile the radius dropped pin and then and then maybe take away metroplex because that's or unless that's that's what that is is that the is that metroplex area I mean, this is still considered the Met, it's Dallas or Fort Worth Metroplex. So okay, again, whatever whatever helps you know exactly what that what that is. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know any of this stuff, so it's just to help you know. Okay. Cool. And then at the top, did you put 20, 20 miles in the title? Yeah. So put dropped pin Metroplex twenty miles. Perfect. Seventy bucks, ten days. Perfect. So again, just details helps you in the, in the future. Okay, cool. So that's good. Lifetime start date, end date. We're good there. We're good on the targeting. Scroll down. Um, we don't need any detailed targeting words. When you put, scroll down. So this right here, detailed targeting. Sometimes it's good to put words in there. Sometimes it is, um, especially when you're marketing a, a more general product or when you're marketing something nationwide or even globally. Like if you're selling you know, something on the, online, like you're selling necklaces, targeting the country or maybe even targeting the world world and, and narrowing it down to specific interest keywords. Would I be like home buyers, home sellers? Or? Well, if you were targeting again, nationwide or around the world. Oh, okay. Since okay. you're only targeting a super small local area. Okay. I don't even, I, I don't want to, I don't want to um, exclude anyone. Yeah. Like I just want, because it's only a little area. So I want to try to get as many, ex, as much exposure in that area as possible. Okay. Um, and, and again, that part, this part is testing as well. We'll test this one. One, this one will run with no detail targeting words. Our next ad, will put a couple keywords. Okay. And, and, and just play it by ear and just test it, test it, test it. So here's another part of testing automatic placement or manual placement. So when your automatic placement, which is recommended, what Facebook says recommended, but but it, it can kind of it can kind of be up to you. It's it's based on testing. So when you go manual placement, manual placement, this is this is automatic placement. So all everything you checked here, that's automatic placement. So if we left it, if we leave it on automatic placement, all these check marks is just simply showing everything that it's going to be put everywhere that it's going to be posted, which can be a good thing. Which can be a good thing. But sometimes I put my consumer hat on right? We're consumers. You and I, we're consumers. We're on the damn platform all damn day. Yeah. Where is your attention, right? Like when you're on Facebook, right. what are you looking at? Watch, go to Facebook real quick. Pull up your tab that's open right there. Heather one, Heather. Yeah. Go to your newsfeed. Click on the home. Just go to your newsfeed. No, click on the home at the top, the little house yeah. looking thing. Go to your newsfeed. As you're scrolling through again, your consumer hat is on. Where is all your attention? Are you looking to the left of the page? Are you looking to the right of the page? All your attention um, is in the middle. Yes. Right? So again, yeah. think as a consumer, your, your attention is right there. Very rarely am I clicking ads in the stories in, in the, on the right-hand column. Watch, go back to the ads manager, scroll down, look at everything that's checked. Very rarely am I looking at, go down, scroll down, look at everything that's checked. So uh -huh. very rarely am I looking at um, the right-hand column, video feeds. I'm never in the marketplace. I know a million, I know a billion people are, but I'm not really there. Um, and it doesn't really matter me, actually you, it doesn't really matter. But again, we're thinking as a consumer here. And I, I truly believe we're just, just like every other consumer. And we can kind of probably speak for almost everyone, almost everyone. Whereas like, dude, very rarely am I ever looking at Instagram shop, right? Right. Or, or Facebook group. Groups. So do I need to uncheck these then? That's what I'm trying to say is that the fact that this part is testing, we can go in and gotcha. uncheck everything. The next ad, you can check everything. This is all part of testing. Huh. So what you can do is maybe, yeah, in this case, let's uncheck everything. Start at the top, uncheck messenger, uncheck audience network, uncheck, um, uncheck Instagram. Yeah. Uncheck it. Yeah. And just leave Facebook. And then here, just go with the newsfeed. So scroll okay. down, uncheck everything else. Facebook stories, uncheck. In stream, uncheck. Um, Interesting. Uncheck, 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 uncheck everything. So I like to test this when the budget is not that big, right? Okay. So if we're going seven bucks a day, really what it is, then I want every single penny to go to the highest attention grabbing 
part on real estate, which is that the news. Okay. Right. So, yeah. so it's only when you have a bigger budget, you're into, and you want to test even more, you got the budget to test all kinds of random shit, all kinds of random ads. That's when you can just start playing around with all this stuff, or, or you can go to automatic placement and let Facebook put it everywhere. Right. But this is good for now. So, so let's go back up to the top, go back up to the title. Now, again, let's, let's reword this title. So dropped pin, dropped pin Metroplex 20 miles. Um, and then, and then, and then put dash edit placement or, or put news feed only Facebook FB news feed only, right? Something like that. Um, Facebook what? News feed only. So again, just based on what you checked. So, okay. so FB news feed only. Perfect. That's it. Okay. Scroll down all the way down, 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 down. That's all. Okay. So that was it. So it was either edit, go back up real quick. It was either edit placement and do all that or or go autom go down, go automatic placement and let Facebook just post it everywhere. Gotcha. And, and, and at the same time, know. at the same time, Facebook, they don't, again, they're all about making money too. Right. So they're not going to put that ad, even if you went automatic placement, they're going to put it everywhere, but they're only going to, but not only, that's not the right word. They're going to put it everywhere and they're only going to really narrow in on where the highest engagement is coming from because they're into making money. And the only time they make money is when they can, when is when there's activity on this ad, because that's when you're charged, you're charged when you're, you're charged daily, you're charged on the seven bucks, but, but what is the seven bucks going towards? The seven bucks is going towards all the activity, whether it's, a, whether it's a click, whether it's a engagement, we're paying for all this stuff, the seven bucks, it pay, it's paying for all this activity. So Facebook is only going to, even though if you went automatic, they're going to blast it everywhere. They still only really focus on the highest engagement. So if they notice that the newsfeed is the highest engagement and none of this other shit is, is working, then they're not going to focus and put it, continue to put it all over there. They're going to only focus on where the attention is coming from because that's where they're making money as well. They're like our partner in this. You know, they're, they're going to place that ad where it can get the highest engagement. So that's why it's, it's testing. It's testing. This one will just go newsfeed and scroll down and then, and then we'll play around with it again on, on the second app. Okay. So that's all for that. That's set. That's step two. Now go next. Do that's I need it. to do anything with cost? Nope. Control? Hit next. No, hit next. And then this is the third and final step. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that the Instagram account is there, even though we're not running this on Instagram. Um, just go ahead and add it just for the hell of it. Just add it here, just so you don't have to do it later. Add Instagram, add Instagram placement. Okay, so select your Instagram. Actually, connect account. Go connect account. I didn't mean to do that anyway, so. No, you're good. So we'll simply log in here. Okay, so good. So now hit the, oh, it's, it's already, already connected, connected to, to a Facebook, Facebook page. Okay, so you may have it connected to the other Facebook page. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll worry about that later. So okay. here, add setup, create ad, hit that drop down, and you're going with use existing post. Okay, use existing post, and then select post. Okay, perfect, and then find that post. Yeah, it would have been way at the top. Okay, so when you don't see it, when you don't see it here. Yeah, go to the, it's not at the bottom, it's at the very top. Yeah. So, so when you don't see it for whatever reason, let me show you how to find it. So go to Facebook, go to the, go to the post, leave this here, go click on the Facebook tab at the top and go to that post. Oh, I get out of here. No, 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 leave it here. Leave that, here. leave this here. Go, go to the tab at the top, Facebook. No, the tab, the tab that's open. Go to your Facebook page. Oh, okay. So. Over here, click on your name right there. Go to your Facebook page. Yeah, go to your Facebook page. And then go down to that image and go ahead and click on the image. Click on the image. So this is how you, this is how you pull it if, if you don't see, see it there on the other page. So up here at the very top, there's two sets of numbers in the, in the, in the dot com, in the URL tool, toolbar at the top. Okay, you see these are two sets of numbers, 104338, that's one set. The other one, 140017117, these are two different sets of numbers. I don't know which one it is, so let's pick one. So just choose one at a time. It's going to be one, it's going to be one of these numbers. So copy this, go back to as manager, paste it in, 
and see if, it, if it's that one. Yep, paste it in. Hit enter. Okay, so it's not that number. So let's check the other set of numbers. Okay, so it's not pulling up that way. Okay, so now go ahead and go ahead and, and X out of this part. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply enter post ID right below that select post, enter post ID down, enter post ID. You see it in blue, it's that little button, little link, enter post ID, paste it in there and then see if anything pulls from there, submit. Okay, so this post can be used as an ad because it doesn't ex are we are we in the right business page? Yeah. Shit, well, I think I hope so. <laughs> no, I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Scroll back up. Go back up. Yeah, you're in this other one. You're in that other. Hit that drop down for Facebook page. Why do you have two? Oh, I don't know. Oh, because one's for California. Okay. 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 That's what it was. Okay. So yeah, shit. You gotta always know you're in the freaking right account. I didn't even catch that. But that's what it is. So now use existing post. So we got that select post. Hit select post. Now you'll see it. But if we didn't see it, that's how you would have done it. You would have just you would have just put in the post ID over there. So check, click it, click your face there. There we go. So so again, if it wasn't there, you would click, you would have clicked on um, the post ID one, which is what we put in, and you would have find you would have put those numbers in. Okay. Okay. Um, so hit cancel right there. Perfect. Now add button, and this is where the opt-in page goes. So grab your link for the opt-in page. Perfect. So copy that link. That becomes the learn more button. And that is that. So update post. Perfect. And then scroll down. So you always want to make sure that that box is checked website events and then select a domain. Click that drop down. Sometimes it's there by default. Sometimes sure. not. Down, select a domain. Hit that drop uh, down. A domain. Select a domain right there. Oh, okay. okay. So go with your pixel, the green dot. Okay, so that's the domain. That's the domain. Okay, so green dot, website events box checked, offline events checked, you're good. So now hit publish, and that is that. So now what we can do is we can, I like to kind of test it a little further as well. So let's let this thing publish. And sometimes when it when it gets stuck like that, I'm glad this is happening because I'll show you what to do to unstick it. But that happens a lot. You'll go and hit the green publish button and then it gets stuck in the blue publishing one of three. So when that happens, open up another tab, go to your ads manager. So let's go back to the ads manager. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then now you'll see the blue button in the top right, and it should say, yeah, I'll say three. So click on that. Those are the three steps that we just went through. So you're going to click on that and then click on the green um, publish. Yeah, green publish. And that pushes it through. So publishing two of two, three of three, and it's green. So always when it turns green like that in the bottom right, that's what you're always looking for is it should turn green. So close out the other tab, 24%. Close out that one. And so now, yeah, just leave. So now um, go back, ads manager. So now over here, ads manager, the tab that's open, ads manager. Yeah, I was my, my, I have to move my. Okay. You know, it was missing, like for some reason it's, there we go. It's like, it was blocking it. Oh, that zoom bar. Yeah, the menu bar. Okay, cool. So now these are the three tabs that we just went through. Campaigns, ad sets, and ads. These are your three tabs. So now if you look, you know exactly based on that title. You know exactly what ad that is. So right? does it say how much I'm how much I'm doing it a day? Well, well, yeah. We set the calendar. We set the budget, and then if you check the box to the left, I didn't so, know if we set the budget or not, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, you put seventy dollars for a lifetime budget for the, ca oh, okay. the calendar. Okay. Got it. So check that box to the left of the blue dot, and then click on the middle tab. On the middle tab, ad sets. So here you see the title. That's why you always want to name that title because you would have known the answer to that, to your question a second ago, if you would have gotcha. named the title the right way, which you did name the title the right way. So to answer your question, all you gotta do is look at the title. So hover over the title, don't click on it, just hover over it. 
$70, 10 days. Oh, okay. Right. That's why naming it is so important. Okay. So click on the third tab ads for one campaign. And then now under the title headshot ad number one, click edit. So click on edit and then to the very, very right, top right, click on share that drop down share and then go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed and then just take a quick look at it. So this was going to look like when it goes live tomorrow at um, 6 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Well, Pacific time. Yeah. 6 a.m. your time. So right here, you should see it pop up right here. And if not, then we'll do it again. There it goes. Okay, cool. So there's the ad. So the editing of it, I don't know if we if you cropped it that way, but but obviously those borders, right, is a little eyesore. Yeah. But it is what it Can is. Can I change it or no? Let's see. Sometimes you can't. Go back to Ads Manager and then click on um right to the to the um to the where did it go? Go to change post. No. Actually, it's not change post. Yeah. So now now you're good. Now you're good. So publish. Yeah. So go ahead and publish. And you're good, but go back to the Facebook tab real quick at the top Facebook and click on. So again, part of testing is clicking on the learn more and making sure it's going to your page. So you always want to just do basic testing like that. Okay, cool. So bam. Awesome. Cool. Click the button, click here to download your free copy. Now download free today. Perfect. Awesome. That's how you do the damn thing, Heather. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you getting me th this one going. And then um, what I'll do is I'll uh, schedule an appointment by next, you said 10 days. So before yes. that 10 days is up, I'll have another video. And then we'll, um, when I set my appointment with you next time, do I do it on Facebook ads now versus Kartra since we got that? Yes, set yes, up, yes. Do the Facebook ad uh, tab on, on my calendar. Um, and then also let's chat Again, every Wednesday is your day. That's how that mentally I would write that down. Not mentally, but I'd write that down. I'd, I'd write that down. I'd make it every Wednesday. A new a new post for an ad goes up. We may not have to run it, but at least you're in the habit. At least you're building the discipline of 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 of, of doing of, it. Of doing it. Yes, of doing it. So perfect. Um, every Wednesday, and then let's chat. Let's chat in seven days. Let's chat in seven days from today. So let's chat next next Wednesday. Okay. So schedule for next Wednesday and you may not see next Wednesday on my calendar just yet, but, but make a, make a note for, for next Wednesday. I wrote it down Wednesday. Yeah. We'll do next Wednesday and we'll review it. Cause Hey, who knows? Maybe it, maybe it flops. Maybe we're capturing leads. And if we're capturing leads, we'll leave it. We'll let it run even longer. So the next one, I just um, do a video saying, Hey, about my ad. Okay. Got it. You can, you can, well, it's the ad. It's not about your ad. It's, it's the actual ad. Hey guys, this is Heather. Let me tell you a little bit, a, a tip today. I want to share with you a tip out of my free seller's guide, right? So just use the seller guide as a prop, use it as, 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 as the, the content for, for the post go yeah. off of what's in that seller's guide. Hey guys, this is Heather. Hey, on page three, I'm actually taking a look at my seller's guide. I'm actually giving it, getting ready to give it to a client right now, but on page three, here's what I'm talking about. And show it, like show it in the video. Like, let me read you, let me, let me read you paragraph one. And by the way, you guys, I put this together for you for free. So if you click learn more, right? So again, number one, calling out the audience. Number two, telling some, some brief story about, about it. And then number three, the call to action, telling them to hey, click learn more to download the free copy. Audience. Calling out audience is one. And yep. then number two is a story. story. Mm -hmm. And then number three is the call to action. Call to action. Yes. To learn more. Yes. To click learn more, it'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. Perfect. You know, and, and when it comes to video, you can, you can do all that in a minute, minute and a half, you know, um, but have fun with it. Have fun with it, man. Don't, there is no perfection. Like have fun with it. I don't care if you stutter. I don't care if your hand's shaking, holding the phone. It does not matter. It really doesn't. Yes. It really, really does. The more authentic, the more your audience is going to fall in love with you. That's just Yay, the way I'm so works. excited, David. Thank you so much for your help. You're like so, been... so welcome, Heather. Oh. Message me if you need anything else, and let's chat seven days from today, and we'll review this ad together. Okay. Thank you so All much. All right, Heather. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.